guys, it's Applemint. Welcome back again to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a bit of an art challenge and I wanted to try using a random character generator to create prompts for me to use to make characters with. So I found this website called RanGen and it's got a few different options here on the website, but there is a button right at the end that you can make it have more details because as you see here, they only give you a few options for generating a character. So I definitely wanted more than just what they gave here. So if you look here under optional features, you can change um, hair length or hair loss, scars, clothing info, all that stuff. And you can mark whether you want, um, you know, female, male, like different things um, that you can kind of have them generate certain things and not generate certain things. So I'm making it so I get females because I like drawing girls. This is the character that we have to draw today. <laughs> so it says that she will be 5'4", bronze skinned. She has a charming feel about her. So I want to make her, I guess, kind of sweet looking, nice looking. Um, she has a wide face, round chin, narrow nose large ears, okay, <laughs> puffy cheeks, large lips, pale yellow eyes, uh, thick eyebrows, I do like drawing thick eyebrows, shoulder length, frizzy white hair, which is elaborately styled, a piercing inner left earlobe, slanted shoulders, short arms, a wiry torso, <laughs> round hips, These, this is very involved, round hips, and wears scruffy, unique clothing that are mostly white and form-fitting and no jewelry. Okay, that is that is a whole mouthful right there. As you'll see, I came up with a bit of a sketch there on Procreate, uh, kind of basing, just kind of to get the idea for the outfit based on the description I was given. It's kind of a weird description, but I'm pulling out some of the things that I saw there, like obviously the color of her skin, her eyes, her hair, like the obvious things like that. Um, in terms of her design, I wanted to give her curly hair, um, and for the quote-unquote elaborately styled part, to do some little braids on one side of her hair, kind of pulling it back. And as for her body type, um, I wanted to give her more full body rather than being super thin. Um, I don't really know what a wiry torso is, but it said she had round hips and so I kind of wanted to go with a fuller body type because I just, I don't know, she was giving me those vibes in, the, in just the design I was having in mind. I know that the um, sketch that I did in Procreate doesn't really look like that, but again, that's just a sketch to get an idea for the outfit and the look and everything like that. So it also said that she has a charming feel about her which I take to mean that she is very sweet and inviting looking rather than being kind of more stern and harsh. Um, so I kind of wanted to give her very soft eyes and a very soft facial expression. And for her hair, I got a little bit crazy with it. I had a lot of fun drawing the bangs and making them very swoopy and flowy, but also adding um, a little bit of volume to her hair while, like I mentioned with the braids, pulling it back. It also mentioned that she didn't have any jewelry, except for, I guess, the uh, random piercing in her left earlobe, which I, I mean, that counts as jewelry, doesn't it? They said no jewelry, but I'm pretty sure they just made her wear jewelry. But anyway, um, I also gave her one feather earring because I just, I don't know, I felt like I could add that. I didn't add necklaces or bracelets or anything like that. So as much as I wanted to add a big, long gold necklace or something on this, because I felt like her outfit was a little bit plain, but it specifically described her clothing as being um, unique and like scruffy, I believe the word was or something. Uh, I, I didn't really know how to take that at first. And so obviously what I settled on here was a form-fitting dress and then a really fluffy um, jacket over it or fluffy coat, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's kind of just how I interpreted it. I kind of wanted to give her like a classy look, but also like a comfortable look, if that makes sense. So I just wanted her to be somebody who's very fancy looking, but at the same time, she's not like, she doesn't look stuck up or she doesn't look stern. She's just very inviting. So also please do not pay attention to the jacked up hand that I gave her in front of her face. I, when I sketched it, I, I felt better about it. And I was like, okay, sometimes when I sketch something and I'm like, okay, this needs to be fixed when I ink it. 
you know, I, I'll, I'll have a little too much confidence there. And then when I go into ink it, I make the same mistake or I make a different mistake and it doesn't look right still or it looks worse. So I, that was one of those um, instances there where I meant to fix something from my sketch and instead made it worse. <laughs> Don't be like me, erase your pencil and redraw it before you commit to inking it. Don't be like me, please. <laughs> I did have fun coloring her skin. I like the skin tone I picked for her. It's a very caramel color and I wanted to make it look very even as well, especially on her legs because it's just like a big patch of one color. Um, so I did like two coats of the color with my markers. Um, and you'll see me mixing and matching different markers. I always get a lot of questions about the markers that I use and the brands that I'm using in this video are primarily Copic markers, as well as the Ohuhu brush markers and then some of my Bianyo markers for some of the finer areas because I'm using the set that has the little nibs, not the brush tips. So that's usually pretty good for getting in some finer detail in some areas. And then I'm going in here and I'm just adding some shading and some, uh, I guess, shading to the fluff to make it look a little fluffier. But overall, I'm happy with her design. I I don't know. what it, it, With these kinds of things, it's always interesting to see what other people's interpretations of the same prompt would have been. I hope that I interpreted it correctly, but then again, is there really a correct way to interpret it? <laughs> I don't know, because it's all kind of subjective here uh, based on just like a description. But um, I had fun with her, like I said, and the colors and everything I think goes well together. I, the, I guess the generator did a good job picking some things. But yeah, let me know what you think of her. I don't really have a name in mind for her or what she would be named, but I hope you like her. And now on to the next character. So we're back into the generator for this next character and it, this one is going to be a little bit different, <laughs> spoiler alert. Um, so for this character, she is a little bit taller. She is described as pink skinned, so I take that to mean pale but on the pinker side rather than the peachier side. Um, a controlling feel about her. She has a lean face with a softly shaped jaw, a big nose, small ears and small lips. She has green eyes that are deep set. Uh, well-groomed eyebrows, mid to back length curly blonde, sorry, mid back length curly blonde hair, which is tied back, uh, teal lipstick, which is interesting, light eyeliner, natural colored blush, and natural colored foundation and artistic eyeshadow. That's interesting, the foundation. <laughs> she has her left nostril pierced. She has a long neck, wide shoulders, short arms, small hands. That's kind of a weird detail. <laughs> A uh, broad torso with defined muscles, narrow hips, toned legs, and large feet. Okay, well, for this one, as you can see, I'm going with more of an athletic uh, kind of character here because a lot of the things I was hearing are, you know, specifically that she has defined muscles, um, toned legs, narrow hips. So that to me speaks to a athletic build, which I don't typically draw because I don't really go with like muscular characters that much, even if they're just mildly muscular. But um, as for the rest of her features, they said that she has a controlling feel about her. So I'm giving her more of a stern expression and she has her hair tied back, her curly blonde hair tied back into a ponytail. And I just decided to give her some athletic clothing. So I think that this character fits the description I was given. Um, I don't know if it's better or worse than the first character. <laughs> I have no clue, but um, yeah. I also wanted to give her kind of a pose of like she's leaning against. I, I saw some reference online of like, a athletic woman leaning against a like slab of cement <laughs> with her like I don't know her workout clothes it was just like some random reference I found online so that's kind of what I was basing the pose off of although I will say I think I went wrong slightly here with the either the angle of the um because I, I actually completely lost the reference like I had it open and then I couldn't find it anymore I, I closed it by accident and then I couldn't find it again so I think that I mean whatever I it's fine, but I, I kind of drew either the angle of the thing she's leaning on like a little wrong or her foot a little long or too wrong or long or whatever. I don't know, but 
yeah, not perfect, but you get the point. <laughs> anyway, to give her those toned muscle kind of appearance, I'm first going in with the darkest shade that I normally use for skin, and I'm kind of outlining the areas that are along the edges of her arms, her, her torso, all that. And then um, in a minute, you'll see me go in with a more middle tone and kind of blend it all together and kind of define her muscles. The one thing I think I did make a mistake on was her eyes are supposed to be green and I forgot that and I made them like blue or teal or something like more aqua color, uh, but whatever, it's, it's close enough. I did completely forget that they gave me an eye color, but yeah, it just happens to be close. So we'll just say that I didn't forget. <laughs> And then I gave her some teal bluish eyeshadow to just match her lipstick because apparently this lady likes to go out uh, working out and she specifically puts on the most bold lipstick color she can find. <laughs> I don't know. It, it was like a weird detail, but you know, I guess it gives her character. But um, yeah, I tried to stick with the color palette of like the blonde for the hair, obviously, but then they didn't give me anything for the outfit. So I decided to go with... Um, that teal color again for her top and then a very 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 dark blue color for her leggings just to kind of keep it within the blues and um, like golden color family uh, kind of palette so I think that it works well for her design I didn't want to like add too many colors in here um, but yeah this one was also fun to do I think that I could have I don't know I probably would have done a few things differently if I drew her again but you know you live and you learn and I like the way her outfit came out overall though. Um, she's a little simple, but I think both of these are a bit simple because I, you know, I'm kind of just playing with the prompts and trying to go for the feel of like the vibe I'm getting from the kind of character they're giving me. But anyway, if you want to do something like this, I would definitely recommend it. This was a fun little challenge to do. So definitely try this out and let me know in the comments below which character you liked better. This is my first time filming um, something using my new desk and my new setup area, my filming area in my new uh, place. So sorry if the lighting isn't 100% perfect in some of these uh, clips or shots because I am still trying to figure out a good lighting situation and where to set up my lights. So I have a limited number of outlets in the room and I'm trying to work with that. So again, apologies if things aren't completely optimal right off the bat. Still trying to figure out the layout of the room, but anyway, as always, I have all of my links in the description box below. The link to my online store, my Patreon pin club, which is back up and running again and my Instagram page and my Discord server. So all that is there in the description as always. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy spooky season. <laughs> Today is October 1st is the time of posting this video. So I'm really happy about that. Fall is my favorite time of the year. And I'm just happy that it's finally spooky time and I don't have to get, uh, you know, people annoyed around me by me talking about Halloween and the fall. <laughs> but anyway, Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time as always. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye.